everyone welcome to or welcome back to another vlog and to all of my new subscribers welcome 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 i am so happy that you are here and if this is your first time ever seeing my face i would like for you to do me a favor and click that subscribe button turn on your post notification bell so you will not miss any of my new uploaded videos and click the like button so you guys let me give you the rundown of what we're going to be doing today first we're going to go and support one of our church members that has started their own food business and then after that we're going to come back home i'm going to share with you guys a new recipe that popped up on my youtube feed that i will be preparing for my family and you guys if you hear this noise outside my husband is currently washing this truck which segues right into this little beauty here yes this three in one mini vacuum cleaner. Saker sent this to me to do a review for them and all thoughts and opinion are my own. So we're gonna do an unboxing to see what's inside. So let's see what this little beauty here can do for us today. Especially since I gotta do some cleaning around here. Let's see if this is gonna help me out with some of the cleaning that I need to do today. Okay, you guys, this Saker 3-in-1 mini vacuum cleaner can be used in a variety of ways. So let's open it up to see what's inside. So as you can see, when opening the box, we have a little storage pouch where you can store your vacuum cleaner in. Also, it has a HEPA filter a USB cable for charging. Also, it has some other accessories in here that I'm going to go over with you guys. All of the accessories that comes with it. And of course, the handheld vac. And the instruction manual. Okay guys, as you can see, Saker Mini Vacuum Cleaner is equipped with a variety of accessories that can meet the blowing, vacuuming, and pumping a variety of scenarios for use. Not only can you clean hard to clean crevices, such as computer keyboards and mainframes, but you can also clean large stains on sofa seats and other areas. Also, it has this USB cord. It comes with two of HEPA filters, which this one right here, is a metal one that you can use to rinse off with water. It comes with a HEPA filter that is already inside the vacuum cleaner as you can see. It comes with this attachment here where you can vacuum things up off the floor. Now this part right here is an attachment that you can use to blow up. Like say for instance, if you have a swimming pool and you have floaties or whatever, you can use this little piece here to blow up your floaters. I wonder, can you use this to blow up a mattress? Hmm, that would be interesting to see. Also, it has this little attachment here. Say for instance, if you have Ziploc bags or if you have bags to uh, store some of your winter or summer clothes, you can use this to uh, suck the air out. Uh, not suck, yeah, suck the air out of those uh, bags to seal and protect your clothes for the winter or the summer when you're storing your clothes. Also, these attachments here are to, you can use this to blow air into something. Like if you're blowing up a mat, I'm just assuming that this thing, the way they talk from the reviews that I've seen, you can use this to blow up anything. Now you can use this also to clean your computer keyboards. Along with this attachment here, you can use to clean your computer boards or what have you. And you can use this to uh, attach this even to suck up. Like if you're cleaning, I'm going to show you guys some areas that I'm going to be using to clean in my house. I'm going to use this attachment to suck up some dust and dirt that is hard to reach. And this also, you can use this attachment here uh you can use this attachment here to attach to this you can use without it just to suck up areas in your car when you're uh, vacuuming the inside of your car so what we're going to do now is see how well this is used you can even let's see this on a, oh this is okay see it already has a filter on the inside so yeah it's easy to assemble and disassemble now this part is used for vacuuming 
Also this right here, this area here, you can use the attachments to blow air. Look at that. You can put that on there so it can blow air or if you're gonna clean your keyboards or whatever, as I had mentioned before, we're gonna show you that. Also, how to turn it on, you press this button right here and hold it for three seconds. Oh, it's already, it's already working. That's the first mode, you can press it again. Look at the suction, y'all. That's some suction right there. The light is blinking, so that means it needs, the light was lit, the light. The light was blinking, so that lets you know that it needs to be charged up. Here right at the bottom, you can use the SB cord to charge. So let me fully charge this up so we can actually see how well this is used. And it has tips right here. Dust accumulation on the filter can reduce the suction power of the vacuum cleaner, causing a weaker suction. So when you're cleaning, you make sure you clean this HEPA filter on the inside. So it's giving you tips. If you're wondering, okay, why is it doesn't, why it doesn't have that suction that it did at first, it is because your filter needs to be clean. So you guys, let me charge this up and then we'll come back to see how well this mini handheld vacuum works. Okay guys, now that the mini vac has fully charged, I'm gonna show you guys the suction power that it claims it has that is gonna suck up this dirt that I just swept up on my floor. I'm gonna use this attachment here to suck up the dirt on the floor. So this Ooh, Look at that suction. Okay guys, look at all the dirt and dust and everything that it picked up off the floor that I just swept up. And the suction, did you guys see it? It really sucked up all this stuff. I mean, it didn't hesitate at all. I didn't have to keep going over and over and everything. But yeah, look at all of that. And this filter that I got in here, all you need to do is just shake it off and run water on it to wash it off. That is power. I'm already impressed with that. So let's see what else this Saker vacuum can do. Okay guys, so the next attachment we're gonna use is this one right here. We're gonna use this because, can you guys see that dust that has accumulated on my ceiling fan? We're gonna use that attachment to, well I'm gonna let baby girl use that attachment to see if it's gonna suck any of that dust off. She just wanted to like suck any of that dust off. Mm -mm. Okay guys, can you see all that dust and dirt that's in that helper filter? Now she did went on ahead and vacuum all of the dust off of all of the rest of the blades. But look at all that dust and dirt. Wow. The my ceiling fan looks like it's very clean, even though it's not. We need to clean on the top of it. But look at that, y'all. The suction power is really good. I mean, very, very good. So I'm gonna clean this filter and I'm gonna give an example of another area where you can use this to clean in your home. Okay guys, so now we're gonna use this to test to see how we can blow trash from your keyboard. This is this part right here is like a blower. You can use it to blow dust from your keyboard, to blow up balloons. I know you can use this like if you're going swimming and you, can, you have like the floaties, you can use this to blow up your floaties. So let's see how well this safe is going to clean my keyboard instead of using canned air you're gonna we can use the Saker three-in-one vacuum
at all of that, y'all. Look at all of that that was blown out of my keyboard. I'll let you know all of the little trash and dust that was inside of the keyboard just came out with the Saker 3-in-1 Vac. You can use this to, instead of canned air, use your Saker 3-in-1 vacuum. Yeah, look at all the crap that came out of my keyboard. I just swept the floor where she blew out um, the trash out of my keyboard and look. Look at all of that. So now we're gonna vacuum it up. Okay guys, can you see those two black pieces between my cabinet and refrigerator? Now that's from a plate that I dropped and broke and I've been trying my best to figure out how to get between that crack to get those pieces of plate and try to get some of that dirt from back over in there. But as you can see, we put an extension on the uh, vac to see if it can get, it says that you can get between hard to reach places. Again, I'm sorry about the angles. Y'all know I'm not good with angles, but my daughter's trying to help me out here to see if the suction power on this vac can get those two pieces of the uh, broken plate between the cabinet and the refrigerator and we're gonna see if it's gonna pick that up okay guys look at that the suction power of the mini vac was able to remove those two broken pieces of glass between my cabinet and refrigerator it is doing what it says it can do Okay guys, so what can I say about the Saker 3-in-1 Mini Vac? It is very lightweight. It comes with several different attachments that you can use anywhere in your home, whether it's in your car, office, or even in your craft room. You can even use it in your shop. Men, if you have a, a shop like my husband do, you can use it in the shop to clean off your workspace. So, my opinion, this would be a great gift, especially for the holidays. So if you're looking to get someone a gift for the holidays, I think this would be a great gift. So the link will be in the description box below. Saker, thank you so much for sending me this to review. You guys, like I said, if you would like to purchase this as a gift for anyone in your family or a friend, the link will be in the description box below. Hi everyone, so as you can see, we're in the car. Lloyd. Truck. Hey. <laughs> truck car vehicle that's where we are right now you guys as i mentioned earlier in the vlog that we were going to go and support some of our church members really our family member um as i had said that they are starting their own uh food truck business so they are set up at a a harvest festival which i wasn't aware that it we were going to a harvest festival so that's where they are we're going to go and show them some support we'll see you guys when we get there yep okay guys as you can see they got a lot of things out here we haven't touched on every uh, booth yet but we're gonna go and visit each booth right now we're here at Mount Fool's booth this is my cousin's well my church member slash cousin's uh, booth we're gonna try their food and see how it is bit about your business and how you got started with Mouthful. Uh, your name? Hey y'all, I'm Jay. I'm Jay Johnson. Uh, on a Mouthful. So uh, we started this about, about a year ago, my wife and I. Uh, but the name Mouthful has been going around since I've been cooking about five years ago. So um, I took it and uh, the reason I took it and said Mouthful because we don't just do barbecue. We do more than barbecue. We can do whatever. And then the only thing we want you to do is go away with a mouthful. So yeah. So hey, we cater. Uh, we got a Facebook page. Uh, if you just put in mouthful, M-O-U-F dash F U L, you'll see us on there. You'll see some of the other stuff that we do. Uh, we do from man, 
barbecue, we got a pasta menu, uh, we bringing out the uh, Philly, uh, the Philly uh, cheesesteak sandwiches, uh, a lot of stuff. You want some soul food? I got that too. So yeah, well, yeah, that's mouthful. All right. Okay guys, as you can see, we've made it back home, but we're in a different vehicle. My daughter and I <laughs> are going to the store. As I mentioned earlier in the vlog, there was a recipe that came up on my feed for creamy white chicken chili. So I'm going to prepare that tonight. She doesn't like beans, so <laughs> I'm going to take the beans out for her. So what we're getting ready to do now is go to Kroger's to get the ingredients need to make this chicken chili. And you guys, I saw one of you. I'm, I'm not sure if she subscribed or not, but this was my very first. A few weeks ago, my husband and I were in Kroger's. And Erica, girl, if you're watching, thank you so much for letting me know that you enjoy watching my videos. This is my first time ever meeting someone that has watched that watches my videos. She just said that she came across my videos and that she liked likes my videos and she enjoys them and I really appreciate that so so much and again Erica thank you for stopping me and letting me know that you watch me girl I didn't even know anybody in my area watch my videos besides my friend keeping up with Kendra we both she's a youtuber as well you guys know her some of you guys know her cuz we all support each other here on this platform we both live in the same area but that's the only other person that I know that lives in this area that watch my videos But now that I know that Erica does I really appreciate you girl. Thank you so so much. I watch her videos too <laughs> Of course you do Anyway, you guys I'm not gonna babble on uh, we're gonna go to Kroger's and get these ingredients As you can see, we've made it back home. So right now we're getting ready to make this white chicken chili. Now I got this recipe from That Girl Can Cook. I will link her channel in the description box below along with the recipe. So you guys, let's get started on this white chicken chili. Okay guys, I've already started prepping everything to uh, cook. So we're gonna start over here. What we're gonna need is some chicken broth. That's what you see here. This is chicken broth. We're going to need at least uh, four ounces of chicken broth, some fire roasted corn. We're going to need a yellow bell pepper and an onion, and that's half of an onion. Mozzarella cheese for garnish or any type of cheese that you would like. I'm just choosing mozzarella. Also, we're going to use some great northern beans and some cannellini beans. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Also, she said... If you want to do some shortcuts, you can get a rotisserie chicken and that's what I did. I got a small rotisserie chicken 
and I shredded that jalapeno pepper. Now I de-seed it because if you have the seeds, that's what make it hot. And she said that when you use the jalapeno peppers, it will not make the uh, chicken chili hot. We have some diced green chilies. For seasonings, you will need some ground cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, minced garlic, chili powder. Now you will also need some lime, a lime. Now my grocery store did not have a lime, so I'm substituting with 100% Kroger uh, brand lime juice, heavy whipping cream for garnish, cilantro. Also a recipe calls for tahini and that's for garnishing as well. And her, she said to use uh, seasoned salt. I do not have any seasoned salt, so I'm gonna be using this Creole Kick. So you guys, let's get started on making this white chicken chili. Now also you're gonna use some type of oil. She used chicken oil, um, but I'm going to use some extra virgin olive oil. So that's what I'm gonna use to start sauteing the onion and bell pepper. So you guys, let's get started. So my husband is gonna taste the chili. Now this is my first time ever making it and I followed her recipe to the T. That's good. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you say it's good? It's good. So you guys, my family loved the chili. They gave it a thumbs up. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, the link to this recipe will be in the description box below. See you guys in my next video.